Now, I've been told that Nikkei is a game for the Kumer, the dredges of society, the people that should be shamed. It's a, it's a very vile game, so obviously I had to play it. And there's this character called Rupi, I think. Uh, her whole thing is that she likes to shop. Uh, and she's also a streamer. Like She goes on this TikTok app and uh, streams herself shopping. Now, uh, with most Nikkeis, you can actually see more about their personalities and interact with them. Uh, some of the Nikkeis, you can actually interact in a romantic way. And, and this one in particular has a very interesting story. Uh, she takes you shopping with her and asks you to carry her bags. And, and then uh, she is streaming all of this interaction takes you to her place and has, like, unboxing videos where uh, she shows you some of the stuff that she bought for you. And while this is happening, you're looking at the interaction with the chat. You're, you're seeing what people are talking about, and one of them happens to be a stalker. One of them seems to be incredibly creepy towards this girl. And after the stream, you're showing her the vile messages, and she just shrugs it off, saying that she's incredibly popular, and obviously she has a lot of people that like her, but as popularity goes, there will also be haters. And unfortunately, some of the haters may even be creepy, but that's okay, like, uh, she will report them to the platform's TOS, and that's the end of that. Now, the next day, the protagonist wakes up, calls the girl, and she's not answering. Goes to her place, she's not answering. And he realizes that, well, I mean, she's a Nikkei, which is like an android, like 2B from Nier, if you will. Uh, she can take care of herself. Like she, Nikkeis are very powerful, like a human can't overpower a Nikkei. Uh, but, but then they realize that all out a little bit, like Nikkeis aren't able to hurt humans because they're programmed in a way that forbids them to do any sort of violence towards humans. So if a human was to try to force her, uh, she wouldn't be able to defend herself. So, the main character goes into this investigation, like, there's a lot of suspects, you're retracing her steps, and there's a lot of drama involved, and, you know, eventually you do find her, and you do rescue her, and in return, she uh, gives you a kiss. And that's it, right? Like, just, just a kiss. That is the romance arc. Um, it's up to you to decide whether it's interesting or not, but th this is what happens in the game for the Kumer, right? Like, the disgusting person, the, the, the vile creeps... Of society, this is what they play. And I wanted to make a comparison with what the decent members of society play, like what all the uh, doctors and engineers and uh, video game journalists, like what do they fill their private time with? Like, like how does a romance story look like uh, in a game that's uh, for the masses, that, that's for the decent folk, for the conversation with your mother at the dinner table? Uh, so I looked at Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3 got a lot of praise. Apparently, the romance is amazing. Journalists wrote articles on how Larian Studios uh, had to hire actual actors in order to make sex noises. But like, hey, it can't be that bad. I mean, it's on Sony, right? I mean, PlayStation would have censored it if it's any type of bad. I mean. So uh, what exactly did I find in Baldur's Gate? Well... I started the game, and, uh, you know, like, this druid comes up to me in camp, and I'm like, oh, nice weather we're having, right? And he's like, the winds carry the scent of your boy, pussy. Let's go into the forest so I can smash. Precious for consent. And I'm like, whoa, holy shit. Um, look, uh, I'm in a relationship with this elf. I mean... Uh, she, she is my significant other. I would never... Nature doesn't care, boyo. I will do her as you watch. And then I will satisfy you as well because Larian made me this way. Press yes for consent. If you happen to press yes for consent, uh, you are treated to one of the most disgusting scenes in gaming history. Like, he actually turns into a bear. Um... There's another scene, you know, it's like, oh, well, uh, th there's a lady, right? Like, women aren't uh, really as forward like that. And, and, and this woman comes up to me, like, half her hair is shaven. And it's like, mm, I want to ride you, boyo. I want to break you in half under me. I want to ride. Play CS for consent. So I'm thinking, you know, and, and I haven't even started about the demon lady that looks like a man. Um, You also need to press CS for consent. But, but like... 
this is the game for decent folk, right? L- like, like this is the immersive storyline. This is this is what all the game journalists and, and, and all the decent people rave about. I like, like, like this is the the game for all the doctors and engineers and all, all the smart people and, and the ones that uh, uh, they they go to Sunday church and they lecture others about virtue. Meanwhile, Nikkei is the game for the Kumers. Like, like th- that is the what what's considered the pornographic game. That that is the problematic game. That that is the game that uh, the dredges of society play. And, and, you know, like, like you're looking at Nikkei, and, and if you compare it with video games that used to come back in the day, like um, Neverwinter Nights or uh, Baldur's Gate 2, uh, it doesn't hold a candle to it. But, but, but it's shocking to see how this phone game manages to create more interesting, compelling characters that actually resemble human beings to some level than Western Slop. Like, what's that? no one behaves the way that the companions do in Baldur's Gate. There's no romance. There's, it's like hookup culture. They literally come to you and they ask you to press yes for consent. Like, that, that is literally the only thing that those characters know. And once you hook up with them, that's it. Like, it's not like Dragon Age where you have, like, interesting romances and plot where you know you, you and you tie the plot to the actual gameplay mechanics where uh if you decide to play a woman you can actually romance alistair and you can become the queen and if you do that you got more dialogue options with him and you can change the ending of the game no 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 in Baldur's gate it's like all right do you want to do it do you want it okay press yes for consent and they show you a little bit of cringe before that like i actually like gail as a character I didn't like it when he was lusting for me, though. I felt very uncomfortable. And he does, like, this bizarre dance on the beach, and then he wants you to look at the stars with him, and it's like, what the fuck? Gail, aren't you even going to ask me if I'm straight? Why do you assume that I'm a pansexual? That, that I'm going to, just because I'm playing a role-playing game, I, I'm going to thrust into everything that moves. And again, the Kumar game doesn't even have sex in it. Like, you get some hand-holding? <gasps> I know. And, and then you also get, like, maybe a kiss on the cheek. And that is it. Like, that is the extents of, of Muy Problematica in Nikkei. And, and the only reason they hate Nikkei is because it's heteronormative. That's why. It's because it's, it's heterosexual, wholesome romance. Meanwhile, you have Baldur's Gate, which is, like, pansexuality, queer hookup culture. And that's why they love it. And also the women, that they're just body type B, body type A. They actually, I think like they have body type C and D to, to switch it up a little bit. But you can still tell which ones are the women and which ones are the men because the women have their chest covered up. It's a fucking joke. But again, you know, this is why I can't be shamed when uh, I, I, I say that, yeah, you know, I enjoy playing Nikkei. It's because I know who does the shaming. Like if you want to shame someone, you need to have some sort of virtue. You need to at least... Look at it and say, yeah, you know, like, this is beneath me. I wouldn't do it, but I know you would do worse. That's the thing, which is why I don't get shamed. So let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.